Hey everyone, JJB here, back again with some more VGC18 Wi-Fi battles. As you can see on the screen, we're using a new team. So we're rocking out with a Cresselia, a Charizard Y, a Landorus, Incineroar, Tapu Koko, and Kartana. So let's hop right onto battle spot and find ourselves an opponent. The uh, reason I've gone with this kind of team is I've not actually used Charizard Y at all. Um, I know it's like one of the most commonly used Megas, um, but it's not one I've ever, I've ever used. And uh, you know, Britain's been going through a bit of a heat wave at the moment, and today's the first day it's rained in uh, maybe like a month or so. It's been, been a really long time. So I figured, you know, we'll get some sun back at least in my, uh, you know, battles. So we've got ourselves an opponent with a fairly non standard team uh, Reggie Rock and the Meow Stick stand out there. Um, and alongside them, he's got the Tyranitar, Cresselia, a Incineroar, and a Tapu Finny. So. Obviously, the uh, Tyranitar is something that goes against our sun, which I'm not a huge fan of. And I'm thinking he's going to be wanting to go with Trick Room, maybe. So I'm thinking that I quite like a Landorus. This is the same Landorus as in our last team. So he's got the Supersonic Z headbutt. Um, not Zen headbutt, the, you know, Fly in EMZ. Super Summit Sky Strike, but headbutt. Um, so let's go with him. And maybe Incineroar just for some fake out pressure. Double Intimidate. It's kind of nice against everything on his sort of the, you know, uh, Reggie Rock, Tyranata, and the Incineroar. Um, of course, I could also go Charizard. But now I think I'm going to go in Cinderella. I'm going to bring Coco in the back, um, and I think Charizard. Uh, seems a bit risky, but we're going to go with it. Um, like I said, I've not really used this type of team before. Um, I know this is a really standard um, sort of configuration for a, a Zard Y, so we'll see how it goes. Um, if we're expecting Trick Room, I'm not sure why I didn't bring uh, my Cresselia. Um, <laughs> But, you know, let's just see how we go. So we see Cresselia and Incineroar. Um, so the good news is we do get double Intimidate off on his Incineroar, so we don't really have to worry about that too much. Um, but we could be seeing a Trick Room straight up here. So, so much Intimidate's going on. So what we saw there was that the opponent in Cinemaraw went last in terms of um, it's, uh, its fake outing. So I think what we might do is just pop off a rock slide and fake out the oh, good knockoff. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Let's let's protect Landorus and knock off. The Cresselia. I don't think Fake Out really does anything here. If he wants to go Trick Room, then that's fine. Um, if he just fakes us out, that's kind of fine as well. So you see Fake Out into Lando, that's alright. And we see Ice Beam, that's going to be going into Lando as well. Alright. So this is good. We um, get rid of the Recovery Berry, hopefully. Okay, so no Recovery Berry or any item, in fact, so we know it's a Z move. So I think what we're going to do is just pop our Z-move into that Cresselia slot. And do we want to knock off again in case he switches? Probably not a terrible idea. And it'll get some more damage if the Z-move doesn't KO. So let's go with that. Incineroar swaps out, that's fine. Out into the Regirock. So I'm expecting here that they're going to be trying to pop off their uh, Trick Room. So we're at minus one because of the Intimidate from the Incineroar, so I'm not sure if uh, this is going to take out the uh, Cresselia, but we did go for that knockoff as well, so we should be able to uh, KO at this turn, which would be really nice. Problem then is if he brings in his Incineroar again. Yeah, so it doesn't KO, but the knockoff will. Um, so he's got free reign now to bring in his Incineroar, and that will 
bring both of these physical attackers down to neg two, which is uh, it's no good. <laughs> but he goes into the Tyranitar, okay. Well, we've got Drain Punch on uh, Incineroar. So I think we might do that. What have we got for Regirock? Charizard kind of handles that. Oh, we've got Solar Beam. And Kofi will do some big damage as well. Um, so I think we're going to swap Landro out into... Uh, I guess Coco? Or we just protect... Oh, yeah, let's protect Lando. And Drain Punch the Tyranitar. Uh, I don't really want to go for... Oh, Mega Tita, okay. I didn't really want to swap out because I didn't want whatever swaps in to take uh, a couple of rock slides with Lando. I'd rather something died and then... Oh, with that logic, should I have just rock slided? Rock slid? <laughs> rock, rock slowed? D-Dance, that's, that's fine. I think uh, we are neg one, but it's four times effective, so... Drain Punch should do some big damage. Oh, it does no damage at all. Oh no. And we see a Drain Punch from the opposing Regirock. And that does a very nice chunk of damage. Okay, so the Titar is a threat. I think we just go Earthquake. And I think we just let Incineroar go down here. We'll just knock off the Reggie Rock in case something like miraculously happens that keeps us alive. So as long as it doesn't flinch the Landorus here. Oh, so much damage. So please don't flinch. Oh, that's so bad. Miss? Nah. <laughs> okay. So we have to go Coco. We have to go Charizard. Oh, that uh, flinch is so unfortunate, because if we EQ'd there, the t will be dead. Regirock definitely wouldn't be, but it wouldn't be too much of a problem. Good news is we can get rid of the sand. Tarantos still going to outspeed, though. So I think we've got to go Thunderbolt into the T-Tar slot, and I'm going to protect... Not Mega, and just protect with Charizard. The thinking here... Okay, they protect as well. Uh. Earthquake from Regirock, probably KO's Coco. Stone Edge, dodge, okay. Ooh, this is bad though. This is bad. Thunderbolt Tita. Double Protect? Is that all we've got? If we Mega, it will reduce this. Well, we'll get rid of the Spideff boost that the Tyranitar has. We could dodge a Rock Slide. So I guess we're just going to have to go for that. This seems very not good. The Tyranitar is going to be the fastest thing out on the field. I, I don't think Coco is going to outspeed still. To get rid of the sand. If we can kill the T-Tar here, we, we might be okay. Rock slide, someone dodge. No, no dodge. So much damage. Right? We, we, we're not winning this then. Unless we can dodge another rock slide. <laughs> and we flinch again. Alright. So, two rock slide flinches in that game uh, really cost us. I don't think I played it that great, but, you know, if we'd have got the uh, EQ off with Landorus, the Tarantar would have been dead. It would have been Incineroar against the... Incineroar and Regirock against my Landorus, Charizard and Coco, and I think we could have won that, so... Uh, it is what it is. Um, stuff like that happens. Obviously the flinch there at the end uh, just sort of took away any chance of us winning. But it's what happens. So, um, yeah, let's get another battle. Uh, not saving that, that was terrible. And yeah, let's just continue battling. We'll get, uh, we're only at 10 minutes, so we'll probably get another battle in. Um, a bit fortunate, we were up to, we had a 6-2 record with the, the last team, uh, which was a fairly, 
you know, very standard team. Um, we kicked off this one with a loss, but you know, it, you know, flinches happen. It's part of the game. Um, Sixteen twenty-two from Japan. So this might be a double loss episode, guys. Um, and we're seeing there that they're rocking a team very similar in composition to us. Uh, the only difference is they've got a Lele and Gashadon instead of our uh, Incineroar and Kartana. Um, apart from their Charizard, Kartana is really nice here. Looking very nice here. Um, so what do you think? He's got mostly special attackers, so double intimidate's not too useful. And he has got the Lele to get rid of our fake out pressure. What do we want? I would definitely want Cartana in the back. Uh, I don't want to lead it. I think I'm going to lead Charizard and Cresselia. Seems to be decent. And then I think Cartana in the back to help with that Gastrodon matchup. Also good against the Lele. And then Landorus for a big Z move or Coco for some big pressure. He's got two ground types, so Coco's not looking too great. I do carry Taunt, though, which might be nice for the Cresselia. But I think I'm going to go Lando just for Z-move. Um, let's see how this how this goes. Um, let's go have a quick sip of a drink. Nice Rabina. <laughs> and yeah, let's see how we get on. I hope it's not a double loss. A double loss would be a terrible way to kick off the team. I should have really done some practice battles, but I, I just thought, you know, I don't, I don't need that. <laughs> All right. So the intimidates don't matter because uh, neither of these guys are physical attackers. And we saw that the intimidate went first before the terrain. So that's probably Scarf Landorus. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is just protect with Charizard this turn and Icy Wind um, that should reduce this well you know if it hits and connects it will reduce the speed of the opponents um, if we can reduce the speed of Coco then Charizard will outspeed and Lando just goes to the U-turn onto Cresselia that's fine um, I quite like the Lele to come in because you know getting the uh Reduce speed on that. And I was just, just realised now, I was talking about bringing Kartana for the Gastrodon. We've got um, Blimmin Solar Beam on, on Charizard. Yeah, doing some practice games with the team before uh, switching the camera on might have been a good idea, but you know, we'll just roll with it. Yes, yeah, so there's that Gastrodon. Uh, luckily, we are going to reduce its. Obviously, T Bot into Cresselia as well. Okay. It's going to bring us low enough that it should pop our berry. So what that tells me there is that the um, Protect on Charizard is a very obvious play. Obviously we'd be better off going for Heat Wave um, or something along those kind of lines. But the Coco is going to be slow now. So let's Mega Evolve and Solar Beam the Gastrodon and Ally Switch with Cresselia to dodge the Thunderbolt from the Coco onto Charizard. Coco just swaps out, that's that's fine then. Into his own Charizard. So he's probably gonna protect the Gastrodon here. So Icy Wind would have been a another nice another nice play to make. Just spam that and just keep everything nice and slow. At least this puts some mind games into the opponent's head. Uh, is it going to have a grass berry? That would be very niche. Are we seeing a grass berry? No, nah, okay. So Gashadon goes down and we uselessly revealed the ally switch. Um, like I said, um, I think I just said, it might put some mind games into the opponent because uh, they've got to be anticipating whether we're going to ally switch or not. 
Um, so let's see, he goes in Ant to land us again. We know it's Scarf Lando. So I think we just click Icy Wind and again I'm tempted to just protect. Do you want to protect to dodge a rock slide? I think I EV'd this Charizard to take a rock slide. Nah, but we'll protect. Um, yeah, we'll protect and we'll get uh, Icy Wind off, slow these guys down. Uh, unless he. Well, U turn and uh, like overheat into Cresselia might take it out. But if he does U turn, then the Landorus isn't a threat on the next turn, so I'm kind of okay with that. And we do see Rock Slide, okay, so I'm glad we protected. Doesn't really touch Cresselia, which is nice. And we see Flamethrower, that should be going out into Crest, and we should live. Yeah, we get a burn. Um, it's unfortunate, but it doesn't really matter. And Icy Wind connects against both opponents. So that's going to bring the Landorus down, sort of take away the Scarf, essentially. And reduce the uh, Tyranitar speed as well. Sorry, the Charizard speed. So I think I'm just going to go Helping Hand Heat Wave here. Uh, that should KO the Landorus and do some big damage on the opponent Charizard. Uh, Cresselia is kind of not really too much use here. Lando Rock Slide. So, okay, well we should still live. We did EV to survive Rock Slides. If we flinch again now, I'm going to be so, so angry. <laughs> oh man! Oh man. So many, so many flinches. All right, well, it's fine. We can, we can get around it still. Pop the intimidates. All right, we're a hundred percent rock sliding and protecting. Oh man, the flinches! Ah. I'm, I'm pretending like I'm okay with it, but I'm, I'm, very, I'm really not. It's so frustrating. That's going to be two losses, potentially. So you see Coco. Katana protects. And a Charizard protects. So what that shows us is that Katana is faster than Charizard, which is really good info to know. And I think our Landorus should be faster than their Charizard as well. Electricity disappears, so that's perfect timing for his Coco there then. So what we're going to do here is we're going to Z-move the Charizard slot and Leaf Blade the Coco slot. I'm expecting Landorus to come in. If Landorus comes in on either of those slots, is that okay? Right, no. So we want... Do we want Rock Slide for the spread damage? Nah, nah, we're, we're going we're gonna go Z move. Charizard's gonna swap out, isn't it? Yeah, we're gonna Z move and we're gonna uh Leaf Blade Coco. I think this is the wrong play. Charizard has to swap out. Gets the Intimidate off. Uh, we're going to KO the Landorus here though, and we should KO the Coco. Brings us down to our Sash. We're probably going to get paralysed and then fully powered. Uh, Life of Coco. Leaf Blade goes first. So is it not Scarf? Landorus? Okay, well this is fine, because the Z-move's going to kill... Yeah, okay, cool, we're, we're okay. So 
So this should KO the Landorus. And then on the next turn, it's these two guys against the Charizard. And we're just going to hope that Landorus can survive a hit. Uh, survive the heat wave, and then we're fine. Sunlight fades, which is unfortunate because now the Charizard is going to be able to get that back up when it brings itself in. Alright, so it all comes down to this. Trout pops. Uh, the important thing to bear in mind as well is our Landorus is intimidated, so Rock Slide might not be enough to kill. And Kartana is resisted on, on all fronts. So we'll go... Uh, Smart Strikes only resisted by the Fire Typings. So that's probably our better move to go for. He should just go Heat Wave here. Kartana outspeeds, which is nice. We'll get some damage off before anything else. And Landorus Rock Slides. Can we kill after the Intimidate? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Great. All right, so we managed to play around even though that flint really uh, screwed us up in the short term. Um, I think it's a bit of a pattern we've got on the channel so far, of, um, or at least in the last few games, of losing the first game against a low-rated opponent and then winning the second game against a high-rated opponent. Um, but yeah, man those flinches. So we had two flinches in the first game. The first one mattered. second one didn't really matter. We'd already lost by that point. And potentially one that mattered a lot in that game. Um, so I'm pretty glad we came through alright. Uh, I think we managed to play around that end game fine. Going for the Z-move on the Landorus definitely won us the game. If we'd have gone for a Rock Slide... Um, well, if we'd have gone Rock Slide, it would have probably carried the Coco, and then Kartana probably would have carried Landorus anyway. But I think it was the right kind of thing to go for. Um, safest play anyway, because if the Charizard had stayed in, we'd have carried that. Although Rock Slide would have done. Whatever. Basically, what I'm saying is, I think we played okay, and we won the game, which is the important thing. Um, so yeah, that's going to be it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, make sure to like and subscribe to see more uh, battles. Uh, hopefully ones that we don't flinch in, and ones that go forward without any, you know, any snags like that. But yeah, anyway, uh, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.